In this video we're going to learn how to add a tab to control to a form. First thing we need to do is open up the client's form. So right mouse click go to design view. At the moment you can see we have a notes section here and what I'm going to do is add an extra field which will also be a memo field similar to the notes. In this instance I'm going to call it archive. And once I've added the archive field I'm going to add the tab to control and put notes and the archive field onto that tab control. So first thing to do, close this down. I'm going to go to design view in the tables. That's right mouse click, design view. Click down here, archive, and it's going to be a memo field. Close that down, save the changes, and let's open up the client's form in design view. Right mouse click, select design view. OK, first thing we need to do is add existing field. We can see the archive field here. I'm just going to create a little bit more space. Move this down until you get the vertical arrows. Drag that down. And then take archive, drag down and let go. Next I'm going to line them up so left mouse click and hold down actually I'm going to just move it slightly to the right and to line them up nice and easily I'm going to draw a little box like that so it just touches archive and notes label right mouse click align to left Do the same over here. Right mouse click, align to left. But I also want to make the archive field the same size as the notes field. And the way I do that is I right mouse click, size to widest. Right mouse click, size to tallest. And there we have it. Now, what we need to do is add the tab to control. You can see it's up there, so I'm going to create a little bit more space again. Click on tab to control. Up here. Left mouse click and hold down drag out some space. Now let's make a little bit more space down here. I'm going to increase the size of this, just go to one of these nodes here and there we go. This tab here I want to call notes and this tab here on to call archive. So first of all, we'll click on there. I'm going to close down the field list. Double click there so the properties appears. And under caption, I'm going to call this notes. And hit enter. Under here, just click, click in caption, I'm going to call this archive and hit enter. And you can see these are appropriately labelled. Next we need to get this field and label and put it onto the notes tab. Now this is an important thing to remember. You'll notice that if I click on notes and then I try and drag that field down, it doesn't actually move. Now the reason for that 
is when we created this form in the first place using the wizard it's actually applied, if I click on the arrange tab it's applied some formatting to it now to remove that so you can move it you click on notes and click on remove and let's remove the layout that was applied to that let's go back to design view or rather the design tab now if I drag that you can see I can move it quite easily so click on there I'm just going to go to the edge and drag down I'm going to try and put it onto where it's got notes now that doesn't look right if we go to view the form you can see that field isn't appearing back to design view now the reason being if I take that and just move it off the edge there you can see it's actually behind the tab to control now what we want is it to appear within the notes box here and this is how you do it first of all I'm just going to move this back up here I'm going to click on notes so you can see this whole box is highlighted that's the notes tab I'm going to click on the notes field there right mouse click cut to the clipboard click on notes and then right mouse click and paste the difference now is that if we go up here you can see that field is actually within the notes tab so let's do exactly the same for the archive field click on archive right mouse click on the archive field cut to the clipboard right mouse click within the archive tab section and paste then we need to remove this gap so I'm just going to click and you can see we've got these arrows so I can just drag and bring those up there next I'm going to just reduce the size of that form so I'm going to save that click on view and here is our form with a tabbed control now if you want to add another tab it's very simple let's go back to design view I'm going to right mouse click and choose insert page so we've got another page there so if we want to change the caption for that I'm going to call this one orders hit enter we're not going to add a field here for now it's just to show you how to add an extra tab now we may prefer to have orders the orders tab first the archive sec second and notes third so how do we do that what you need to do is if you click on there and right mouse click go down to page order and here you can see the page order I'm just going to move down notes highlight orders and move up to the top and click OK you can see they've reverse round Let's save that go to view and here we have our tab to control so 
important things to remember here are that when you want to add fields to one of these tabs you have to copy and paste you cannot drag and drop and the other thing to remember is if these fields have any layouts applied to them you need to go to arrange and click remove